Hi, guys, and welcome to your October 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You for the Beautiful Sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, Sag. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, and what's good, fam, bam, and hello to my members. Hey, Sag. Um, interesting in you guys is pre-shuffle energy. Can I talk? Energy. Um, I don't even know, like you got this ten of cup this ten of pentacles. You do have the two of cups that came out as the first card, but I'm not ready to reveal that for you in the first 36, 9, 40 seconds. Um we're gonna go in with your blockages, but I noticed that there is a need to free yourself from certain individual um free yourself and take back control of your life. The person that you are connected with, um, this came out in your pre-shuffle. This was the very first card, but your pre-shuffle was all about thinking about the security with the Ten of Pentacles, how to do things in a more um, secure type of way that will put you and your family at ease or whomever you are connecting with, okay? Um, it's time to take back control of certain aspects of your life. It's what's coming across. Um, it was actually very positive. I did see wedding in the pre-shuffle as well for the romance angels. And we do have failure as your first card. Um, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Well, I will say you didn't think that you were failing because between you two, the energy of failure, the opposite of this energy means that there's success. So Maybe it was successful and then at some point the wind, um, the legs just fell apart. Like there was no legs um, in the relate, like in the relationship or whatever in which you thought was happening didn't no longer have the legs that it needed to continue to, to move. Um, and the legs need to be rebuilt or, you know, the metaphor. So um, then we're talking about worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome and it does not. And then we have change. It's been a very popular card this evening. I understand that nothing can grow or move without evolving. And then we have empathy, uh, also a very popular card this evening. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. I am not going to explain that again. It's like the last three zodiac signs have gotten this particular energy. Um, I've been trying to explain to you guys that there is a place and time for empathy, um, that some energies uses that word empathy as a, if, if it's used in the wrong type of context, it can be misconstrued as, um, you know, giving a person a pass, so to speak, um, if it's in the wrong hands, if that makes sense. Okay, so we do have this Ten of Pentacles, that was next, but we're going to go ahead. First card, our energy is Two of Cups, officially. So something definitely has failed that someone thought was a success. Then we do have the Ten of Wands. There's been extreme burdens in this relationship. We do have Hermit in the heart of the matter. Show me, Spirit, what they are not telling Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what are they not selling, Sagittarius? We do have the Wheel of Fortune, Sag, which is beautiful. Um, this has been an extremely heavy, heavy burden. Something has been quite burdensome. Um, but um, although it has been a heavy load in the heart of the matter, Look, that is three of pentacles. In the heart of the matter, we do have the hermit. Um, withdrawing within yourself for some type of introspection on the situation. Your person was focused, a little too focused on the failure of the past and was worrying, obviously, that things would not change and grow and evolve the way in which they needed to. I think that a lot of things that they were trying to get you to see, Sagittarius, is that, you know, in their case, you know, I have to explain it from their perspective. They're saying that they would have liked to have been empathized with a, a, a little bit better than they were. Okay, we do have the six, six of Pentacles, I'm sorry. And we do have the Queen of Wands. What's assisting this overall is the star, okay? We do have the Knight of Swords here, so I know that some communication has not been the best. Um, 
There's a very cut and dry way of looking at certain things. Maybe that's why your person is saying that you did not empathize. Um, they're saying that worrying about you and the state of this relationship will not change the outcome. What's going to change the outcome is actual pure hard change. And although there has been failures, you know, that's fine. And I feel like this was just a means to an end. Let me put this over here. Um, as to say, hey, there are two sides of the situation here. My side, your side, and the truth. Who determines the truth? Well, no one is determining the truth unless you're going to some type of couples counseling um, or marriage counselor for counseling for both for some of you guys. So who determines the truth is you guys together. Um, you guys have to come to a common medium on this particular situation and meet in the middle. Both sides get a little bit of what they think they want in order to keep this moving. And that's what you have to do. It appears that we have one, we have two, three, Major Arcana. They would like to work together. There has been, yes, a wave of terrible energy and you guys hit a rough patch. But the, the, the wild card is this wheel of fortune. And what also supports that wheel of fortune is balance of that six of pentacles. Um, there has been too much veering to the left or too much veering to the right with the six of pentacles is either we have or we have not. And, and it's like extremes, extreme ups and downs. I think that now with this wheel of fortune here in this energy, you're going to start to see a true effort of working together. What they're not telling you is that at some point they stop trying, they stop giving. Um, they want to get back to the connection with you. They stopped giving. They didn't know how to continue to give Sagittarius because of all of the burdens that they felt. So they kind of pull their energy back in the heart of the matter um, with a refocus on um, the commitment, refocusing themselves on loving you and being present in this particular relationship. Okay, three, three pentacles are here. Really wanting, again, to bring this back to fruition. Um, fix the failure, okay? Go into hard change. Start looking at truly meeting each other halfway. Um, imp showing empathy, but really looking at both sides of the situation. Bringing things into balance and also balancing out the love and the passion that they have for you. So what they're not telling you is, is they pulled, they pulled out a little bit. Um, but, you know, hope, healing and optimism is here. And although the communication has been a little off, it's been very cutting, very decisive, very to the point. They're ready to extend some of that lighthearted energy back into this situation. Clarify the ten of wands. The burden is, is that this is true love. And of course, they realize that um, they can't in turn hurt you without hurting themselves because it's real. This has been a very popular card too, codependency. The addictions that are afflicting the love life could just be, you know, addictive, uh, negative, uh, addict, addictive uh, behavior or addictive thoughts that are like negative and just staying in a state of constant pessimism. And I think that by them, which we're treating within themselves, this was their way of trying to balance out their codependency to make sure that they didn't always have to run to you, Sagittarius, and fix shit because you will do that. You will just help everybody. But this person truly loves you and felt that they would be doing you a service if they retreated within themselves to deal with their own codependencies. And when they did that, some things came out. One of the revelations was is that it was time to clear the energy of the ex because a part of their failure, a part of their worry was bringing and not properly unpacking the um, energy of the past and other things. It could be past traumas as well, but this is specifically talking about the energy of the ex. It's time to release that energy. 
Um, the wheel of fortune came when that wheel turns, old people are going to fall off, old people, places and things and old thoughts, patterns and behaviors. OK, um, so that's going to be a good thing when they decided to take responsibility and stop for what they were doing in this relationship. And they realized that they were blocking the connection and true love between you, Sagittarius, with this garbage. That's when they decided to really start doing um, the work. OK, clarify three of pentacles for me. Three of Pentacles is so made. Ding, 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 ding. So they would want to work on things. I'm going to pull a sacred soulmate in a second. Six of Pentacles is heart to heart conversations. We do have unrequited love with the king, Queen of Wands. I am going to also clarify that as well. Hope, healing, and optimism is here. I think that the, um, I think that the, um, Unrequited love has a lot to do with a lot of the ups and downs that you guys were having and somebody was afraid that um, I believe that your partner was afraid that um, with the way that they had kind of retreated and pulled their energy back that you didn't really love them anymore. I don't think that this true love here is just for them. I do think that you hold a special place in your heart for them, Sagittarius. Um, they're going to be coming towards you um, and balancing the scales, okay? Um, and they want to let you know that if you feel like they don't still have passion for you, you must be crazy, um, that this is just a misunderstanding. So, uh, Scorpio got sort of the same type of energy, except the Scorpio was the one that pulled back. Addictions is here. Physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts or other negative patterns of behavior. That's exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about the codependency. And they had to withdraw and pull their energy back in so they can deal with themselves because you are the soulmate. So we're going to go ahead and get one more. And we have spiritual mission. This connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in higher realms. So I feel like, yes, this is a true love connection. I can't make that up. Key words, flirt, true love, codependency, release your ex, soulmate, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and unrequited love. Um, hope, healing, and optimism is here, darlings. So in retrospect, I mean... This just looks like a bump in the road. This particular week, um, you guys have been through some stuff. I don't know. This doesn't look like long term anything. It just looks like a misunderstanding. Something within the relationship just got a little too heavy to hold. But as a result um, of, it, you know, and, and with with some mere refocusing the energy and retreating within oneself to figure out what was important and redirect the energy back to the most important thing here, Sagittarius, which was you and your partner. They are able to turn this around and kind of, you know, reconcile these things within themselves so they can finally have a heart to heart conversation with you um, and express and express this true love and express the burdens that has presented themselves in them in the, in their lives as far as loving you and what that means and how these addictions hold on um, when they went with hello when they went within themselves and that hermit energy to analyze self analyze Virgo energy is there okay that these were the codependent addictions that we're talking about addictions physical emo addictions or emotionally addictive thoughts okay or other negative patterns was what upset the true love, the divine connection, okay? Because regardless, this is a spiritual mission. This is a divine connection and a true love connection. And oh, we have a double true love. We can't act like we don't see that. So you are their true love. This is a divine connection. And they've hit a little snag in the road, but they are regrouping. OK, because you are their soulmate and they're going to be coming to you and letting you know that it wasn't you, that there is most definitely still a lot of passion for you. They still love you. They just got lost a little bit. Does that make sense? And that's what they want to say. And they're going to be coming with the heart to heart conversation 
because this Aquarian energy is here, which you should be in the, that Aquarian energy if you're in the type of energy that, you know, you need to be in hermit. You should have some hope, healing, and optimism and be able to think beyond this particular uh, situation because if you don't, it'll ruin you. You need an Aquarius's mind to kind of think outside the box and that good Uranus energy in a situation like this because you'll continue to think the same. That's how you evoke that change by doing something different. So you can come out of feeling like a failure and stop worrying. And then when they began to empathize, now they can truly see both sides of the situation. Um, therefore, instituting and, and, and fostering that change so you guys can get this love back on track now. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that that resonated with at least one of you guys out there, Sagittarius. Let me know, okay? I will see you next week when we do it again. Thank you very much. And make sure that you go over to Channel 2 and find out how this Libra season is affecting your sign. Bye, Sag.